over 126,000 trades. That's how we do it, man. In this third video in the Algo versus Crab series, where we have tested the RSI and the MACD before, today we will be testing the stochastic indicator. Of course, it's another oscillator, and that's why we can easily compare it with the other two oscillators that we did already. Just a reminder, the series was inspired by the crappy channels who test 100 trades only on some indicator on one instrument. Instead, we are doing it thoroughly, and here are the guidelines in case you forgot them. We will test each indicator with four speeds, very fast all the way to slow, targeting 400 plus trades on the fast speed and 100 trades on the slowest speed. Then we take all those speeds tested on 36 diverse markets, energies, currencies, interest rate, agriculture, and so on and so forth. The test period is over 16 years of data. Once the buy signal or the short signal happen, we will have two type of exits. Exit type one will be exit end of day. So when the signal happens, we enter at the open, we exit same day at the close. Exit type two has three exits built into them. So we will either exit with four ATRs stop loss, two ATRs profit target, and if none of these hit within five days, we will exit on the fifth day. Of course, this is all coming because we are short-term traders and we want to exit as fast as possible to get more trades to build up our account as fast as possible. The caveat here, these are not strategies per se. This is just a research to find out the most robust indicator on the most robust instrument. And then we take that and build strategy using that information. So with all these combinations, short, long, uh, different speeds, different instruments, we should have around 576 strategies with over 100,000 trades per each indicator. Then we will take all this data, put it in Excel database and extract the information we want. And of course, the whole point is to compare this indicator to other indicators that we did already in this series. You can't get any better than this. So let's dig in. So first of all, let me show you the stochastic indicator in case you don't know it. This is the Canadian US dollar future contract. And this is the stochastic. It's basically measuring the close in relation to a previous number of bars. And then once you measure that, you can add a smoothing average or a double smoothing average. And sometimes it's called slow K, slow D, but basically we have two smoothing averages. And so for example here, this is seven period with no smoothing average. So you can see one, one, that means there is no smoothing. So seven, one, one is the fastest speed we will test. And of course, most charting indicators will come with 14, three and three by default. And you can see how it already smoothed that out. But still the idea is the same. Once our smooth, average of the stochastic move above a threshold in this case it's 90 and then we will short and when it's moved below the threshold which is 10 then we will go long again the speeds and the thresholds are not optimized i basically just tweak them to use only the smooth average and with a certain uh, look back period to achieve around 400 plus trades on the fastest speed and around 100 trades on the slowest speed. This, and of course, not to get the best strategy, but just to be able to compare to other indicators or then we are comparing apples to apple. So here we are in multi charts. This is the Canadian dollar, of course, daily, same data since 2006. And this is the fastest speed of the stochastic. And we are using what's called the slow D. And you can see I'm using 711. So there's no smoothing average seven period. And every time we dip below 10, we buy. And of course, this is long only exiting end of day. And you can see every time we dip, we go long. And this is now a slow speed. This is 14.44. So 14 look back period with four double smoothing average of four period. And again, we can see when we dip below, we go long and so on and so forth. Of course, again, this is long only and exiting end of day but of course we will perform the short and the multiple exit all of them and then i will import all this data and in, into our database and we will look at it there so this is the stochastic in our database we have 576 strategies 
with over 126,000 total trades. That's a great amount of trades. It gives us a lot of confidence in the knowledge that we're gonna extract from this database. So as with the previous videos, I picked the instruments that has more than five strategies with an average trade over $100. And again, Bitcoin comes up. So it looks like Bitcoin is working really well with those oscillators. You can see that four speeds, long and short, end of day, multiple exit, they are all profitable in Bitcoin. And then again, Japanese yen comes up. We saw that in the RSI, short only on three speeds with five strategies. Natural gas also comes up with all speeds, long and short, end of day or multiple exits with eight strategies with an average trade of 651. I mean, without this study, it would never occur to me that natural gas will be working really well with oscillators. But this research shows now not one indicator only, but now we have two oscillators that performing really well on natural gas. And again, no surprise, all equity indexes are doing very well. We have 40 strategies doing really well. So overall, we have 104 strategies that has an average trade of $100 or more. So that's 18% of the total number of strategies. All these strategies, by the way, have more than 10,000 trades. So again, that's a boost of confidence that our research is really robust and thorough. So for example, this is the average net profit for all these strategies. So for example, Bitcoin has six strategies performing really well with an average trade over $100. And the average of those strategies is $63,000 of net profit. Then we have natural gas number two at $42,000. And all equities, of course, 15%. Gold, 12%. And Japanese yen, 10% of this pie. The number of strategies, again, equities beats everybody with 40 strategies profitable using all speeds of this indicator. Number two comes natural gas with eight strategies and Bitcoin six strategies, everybody else with five and the others are less than five strategies per instrument. Remember our threshold is five strategies. The most important thing is to remember that these are not ready-made strategies. Yes, I know some of them has the multiple exit, which is stop loss profit target, exit number of days, which basically it is a baked strategy. But remember, you still need to do robustness, which is an extremely important concept. And I dedicate one full module in my Algo Trading Masterclass for this, because you cannot just pick any strategy, throw money at it, put it in live market and expect it to make money. Only robustness testing will vet the strategy if it's working or not. And here we have the average number of trades of those successful strategies per instrument. So gold is number one with 120 trades per strategy on average, followed by all equities and then natural gas with 111 trades, Japanese yen 111 trades, and then coffee 68 trades per strategy on average. And finally, we have the average trade in dollars for all these successful strategies. And of course, we can see that Bitcoin occupies 61% of this pie. Why? Because the average trade is $4,227 on the six strategies that are successful on Bitcoin. The closest one is natural gas with $651 on average per trade, followed by Japanese yen, coffee, gold. You can extract a lot of knowledge. And of course, we can see that natural gas, surprisingly with the Japanese yen, works really well with these oscillators. Now, remember the trick that I showed you in the last video, in case you didn't see it, let me show you now. So if you filter the trades with minus $100, that means these are losing strategies that losing on average more than $100 per trade. And then we filter the exit by end of day only. Now we have 41 strategies. That is a lot of strategies. If I sort by symbol, now remember all these strategies you can flip them to make more money so let's look at this we have three more bitcoin strategies three crude oil strategies now we have five euro dollar strategies that we can flip and they will be really good making money 
then we have also heating oil with now more than five strategies that we can flip making really good average trade and let's look at some more oh look at this platinum and gasoline remember also gasoline did really well when we flipped the strategies in macd now this is not surprising to me uh, of course students of the algo trading masterclass know this already because when we do the testing on these instruments we know that the gasoline works really well with the breakout strategy and why this flipping makes money now because imagine now instead of waiting for the indicator to dip below 10 to go long now we are going long when the indicator goes above 90. so basically we are doing a breakout model and that's why the gasoline always shows up when you flip the rule now let's compare the stochastic to the previous two that we did already which were the macd and the rsi so again i picked the five strategies with the highest average trade with at least 65 trades per strategy all of them except one above 200 trades all of them of course making a high average trade long and short this is short speed and i would say medium speed and then the average of three strategies is here and now we starting to get an idea about which indicator performs the best so from this study we can at least for now say that stochastic is the best why because the return to drawdown is that of course it depends on what's your measure my measure is return to drawdown so this looks the highest return to drawdown so far making seventy eight thousand dollars on average from these top five strategies with $21,000 on average maximum drawdown. This research, of course, will put you on the right road a lot quicker than anybody else. Imagine somebody is just throwing darts and seeing which one will stick, throwing money at it, losing money, while you're starting from this research and you know, okay, let me try natural gas, mac the all speeds, I know they will work, adding filter, doing robustness testing, and then you can easily find a robust strategy. If you want to learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you.